Folks, after recording a um, yeah value post and video about you how to use Loom in your company, I thought let's go a step further, and I'm also sharing something that I'm only sharing with my clients. That is another awesome tool how you can manage your IT project for your company called Trello. Huh? So what is Trello? It's basically also something that you use for free at the beginning. And if you really, really frequently use it, uh, you can use it also for 10 euros, something like that per month, not much. And uh, it, it basically is a Kanban board. I really like it. I mean, you can also use Teams or whatsoever, Jira, Confluence, every, every, every tool basically has something like that. When you're using Trello, it's super easy to use uh, mobile as well. I'm gonna share how I'm gonna use it. And heads up, I don't get any promotion for this either. I wished I would get in something for Loom as well as for Trello. I just, you know, like it for my businesses and for my clients. You know? So, how to use Trello, yeah? It's basically for your IT consultancy how to leverage tools yeah, effectively for streamlining your project management, in this case with Trello. So let's take a look how you can use it. So Trello can be used simply as a project management board. Yeah, you can trade a Trello board for each project or a client. You can add lists to represent project stages to do in progress, completed, so we all know the Scrum Mom, uh, 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 a Kanban board or a, a, a Scrum board or whatsoever. You can create cards for a specific task, issues, milestones with each list. You can add or assign team members to relevant cards, super easy. You can use uh, due dates and labels for prioritized tasks. You can elaborate by adding comments, attachments, and checklists to cards. Mm. Bug tracking, in this case as well, after go live, for example. Set up a separate board for bug tracking. Create lists for different kind of bug priorities, high, medium, low, classically speaking. Each card represents a specific bug or issue. You know? Use custom fields to note you know, bug details, uh, severity, affected modules or apps or whatsoever. Move cards across the list or across the board as they are resolved or being resolved. Kanban workflow. Yeah, that we know. Customize your board to follow a Kanban process. Yeah? This can be represent following stages, backlog, analysis, development, testing, deployment that we really know out of our daily business. Cards move from left to work, uh, right as the work progresses. You can use Trello power ups for additional features like calendar view or any kind of integration you can add it in your Outlook. Side reliability monitoring, so you can basically uh, also create a board. Uh, specifically for site reliability, lists can represent like server health, security checks, scheduled maintenance, and so on. Um, in this example, and I'm sorry I cannot uh, show you my, you, you even have it, you see it as a, as a tab here, my Trello, why can I not use, I have many Trello boards for each of my clients and it would simply uh, show their names and everything, uh, since it's integrated uh, with our members area as well and um, for paying clients, obviously. So I don't want to share that. Uh, you would see a lot of boards because every client gets an individualized uh, Trello board where everything is already standardized in the sense of what needs to be done, onboarding, uh, which stages a, a client needs to be, uh, needs to be uh, supported. Yeah? So that comes out of my Trello. And obviously for, for our teams and departments, for example, sales or lead generation or customer support and so on. We have different kind of Trello boards where we organize ourselves plus using Looms, which you can, uh, by the way, add them to a tr uh, Trello board. Um, in this case, you see my content board um, and how I'm using that. Um, just a really, really simple example. Um, see, I, and that's why I'm using Trello because I'm, if I have ideas, I open up my iPhone and I basically paste it right into it. Yeah, so I don't need to use, I, I find it easier to use, to be honest. I'm a big micro fan, a Microsoft fan, I'm using it as well. But, but I need to, I, I honestly need to say it's easier to use this. That's why I'm using it. Um, I just simply paste my DS, just write whatever. Uh, do a content post about Trello or Loop. Put it here. Then I have a, 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 a tab uh, or uh, a board. Um, for uh, copywriting, so our copywriting team is on it, our videographer team, uh, we have a videographer there, 
is working on things. So in progress means I'm working on them basically. Uh, so I probably, the copy is ready, the videographer is ready. So I need to add my uh, specific points to the, uh, to the post, to the piece of content. Ready means it's ready, it's done. Yeah, it can be scheduled. That's the next one. Scheduled means it's actually scheduled. You can see the, uh, where we are right now. And um, so scheduled means it's gonna be released on that date. Uh, probably, usually we plan ahead two, three, sometimes four, uh, four uh, weeks uh, ahead. Uh, it's a little bit less right now. You see a lot of it's ready. Posted, it's simply posted. And then we have more like um, archive or deleted or whatsoever. So this is how I personally use, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Trello, uh, for example, for content board, um, many, many different examples. Again, for other clients, uh, like uh, within projects, you have a, um, a Trello board for each client. Uh, it can also be standardized because your projects are standardized in this case. So you have different, uh, same kind of, uh, of cards on the board. Uh, you can also automatically replicate it when the customer is onboarded. Um, and then you follow the customer through. That's very good. And so by working with templates, obviously, and um, yeah, you can use it for uh, cli um, client onboarding or employee onboarding as well, combining it with Loom, what needs to be done, uh, maybe first week, second week, and so on. Many, many examples how also we are using and our clients are using it. If you have any questions or you want to know more about how to digitalize your business process, in this case with Lou, uh, Trello, uh, before it was with Lou, then we're going to Trello and we'll have it take a look together, but same as with the Loom. Please start using it. It's, it's a great tool. It's for free at the beginning. You really can't do anything. Uh, it's super easy to use. Again, if you have questions, hit me up, folks.